Chosen, RP Chosen. I mean, he's just not making raid content anymore. But yeah, offer calculator and player is retail value to help compare how different offers stack up. Most mobile games provide revenue share codes to help people support their favorite creators. So how that constitutes a shill is certainly some impressive mental gymnastics. <laughs> you just sound mad that you wish you had the stuff they had. You seem like a very angry person who's mad at the world and is busy yelling at the sky. Raid CCs are entitled shills. They get sponsored. Swing and a miss. I don't think you're quite making the point that you think you are. Or maybe you're just doing a very poor job of it. Everybody knows content creators get perks and those content creator perks are worth very little. However, they do make lots of revenue from their videos, streams, merch, websites, adjacent sponsorships, other side hustles related to Raid. So I came at it with a video talking about how much I make as a quote unquote smaller content creator. But again, subscribers don't really matter. What does matter is how many views people are getting per video. So if I'm getting like 100,000 videos per video and I only have like 1,000 subs, I'd be making a lot more money than what I am now as a content creator with 3,000 subs who, I guess on average, gets like 1,000 views a video. Uh, give or take. I'd say a little less than 1,000. Um, streams. Streaming doesn't pay too much either. I was on Twitch for about a year before I uh, came to YouTube and it, it was I was making even less there. Merch, websites, yeah, that can make a lot of money. Adjacent sponsorships and other side hustles related to Raid, yeah, that's true. No one expects these guys to be 100% unbiased, but this community is very good very good at pushing back. You might think that it's just them stirring drama, but nine times out of 10, it's pretty logical in what the majority of the player base is thinking anyways. True, Spudsy's always on point with it, dude. I haven't seen this. I wonder what he's gonna say. It's probably gonna be some bullshit. If you can go back and edit out all words like everyone, no one, that indicate gross overgeneralizations, then I'll entertain your point. See, exactly. Everyone doesn't know that. It was proven in this very thread. My second, I. Uh, on, on second thought, I'd rather you not entertain my point. It is clear from this response, you and other and your other responses, you have no intention of healthy dialogue. Exactly. People like this don't want to have a conversation. They want to talk shit, and they want people to agree with them. And anybody who doesn't agree with them, he's just going to shit talk to them too. So, you know, we're not going to focus too much on that. Original poster. Some points you made are decent enough. Really, they are. Additionally, on behalf of humans who occupy Earth with other humans, you are a Muppet. A sincere fuck off, and you are its sole possessor. Paid and shills was enough to alert me that the OP doesn't know what he's talking about. Breaking news, content creators get paid by their sponsors. Water is in a state of liquid, and dogs bark. More on that at 7. Damn, I kinda don't care. Boohoo fucking baby. These perks are the equivalent of your gas station points at the end of the year, getting you a few plates and a kitchen towel. Now, you're telling me that whoever collects those points is a gas station shill? They aren't sponsored by Raid. If they were sponsored, it would imply that Raid pays for their videos. They are merely in the content creator program, which gets them the benefits, which have been disclosed a lot of times. But does anybody want to hear about it every single video? I know I don't care. I also know they spend money, so I'm not really concerned with where their books come from as long as they're not telling me to get them from the fairly priced packs or anything else. You just sound mad that you wish you had the stuff they had. And yes, Polarium has helped them get some of it with those monthly, weekly bonuses, but anyone can make YouTube videos. It's up to you to get the content out there and get enough views to be able to meet the content creator program minimums, however, and however you make money from YouTube. Exactly, right? So you can sit there and talk shit all you want about content creators getting their shit, but you gotta understand there is a come up. Again, I was doing content creation for almost two years before getting anything from Polarium. I was doing content creation for about two years before anybody even watched me. What point are you trying to make? Raid CCs are entitled and they're shills. Is there a, uh, I need a clown mask. What makes you say they're entitled? They put time and effort to make videos they hope are informative and entertaining. They request that we watch the videos. It seems like a fair trade to me. Here's what I haven't seen anybody say. This is not payment. It's not even compensation for their time. It's not even an incentive to play the game. What this actually is, what the content creator packs actually are, is a means to actually play the game to have content. Raid understands that the game is very stingy, that players play with resources close to their chests, and that it takes weeks or months to build new champions or re-gear teams for new content. This pack aims to alleviate the actual dollar cost amount that CCs would have to spend in order to create content for their audience, which in turn grows the game but in no way makes them paid or sponsored. They have free will to say whatever they like about the game. On another note, face value of items being sent to them is idiotic. In-game currency has zero intrinsic value and the value of it is significantly less than we, what this calculator is saying. 
There is not a single game in existence with content creators who do not want to make money, otherwise there would be no content to consume. Chasing views is the entire point of YouTube, you simpleton. Anyway, you seem like a very angry person who's mad at the world and is busy yelling at the sky. I'll leave you to it. Have a nice day. Bro, are you really heated over that? Are you really gonna get pressed over it? I was not sure if we could talk about this, but Ash says that we can. And he put out a video. Jay Giggs put out a video. So now we can talk about this. Or now I feel okay talking about this. I was under the impression that there was an NDA that we signed saying we couldn't talk about the CC perks. And I wanted to do this video days ago because I saw it was blowing up, but I just didn't. I don't get this. I get a smaller version of this. A thousand energy. I think I get like two and a half million silver, a thousand gems. I don't know if I get uh, legendary books. I don't remember, but I do get epics and I get the five star chickens. Before I jump into it, I want to give my opinion on Boozer. He's been solid. He's been kind. Before becoming a content creator, he was still doing free to play. I think there is an argument that could be made by one to say, hey, he's not exactly free to play. He's a non-spender would be a, a much more apt description if you wanted to be nitpicky. Content creators should be receiving something, right? CCs don't get paid. We, Polarium's not paying us money. They're paying us with in-game rewards. And I think it's only fair considering we're basically advertising for them. It's free real estate for them. Content creation takes a lot of time. Unless you're like me who just reacts to shit. There's a lot that goes into content creation. If you want to go ahead and do it, I highly encourage you. If you want to get these rewards, nothing's stopping you. You could be a content creator too. He's not free to play. I don't care. But yeah, saying he's free to play is dumb. I think most people would go to free to play if they were receiving that amount of resources haha -ha. a lot of people would i mean that's that's me i went free to play or i completely went non to spend non-spending i'm not gonna i never called myself free to play i went completely non-spending within raid i stopped buying shit in raid in part because i lost the champion chase tournament for nergigante archer and the other half was oh i'm receiving all these rewards there's not really a need for me to buy anything in raid i guess another topic that i haven't really seen address is it's probably not fair going up against a CC in a tournament. For example, this past Odin event dungeon that I just did, I blew everybody out of the water by thousands of points. Now, I'm pretty sure there were some Krakens in there, and if they really wanted to, if they felt like it, they could blow me out of the water and dry me all the way up. But the point is that all the gems that I converted into energy we're all free or not free because I put in the time and effort into making the content that benefits Polarium and benefits you in the form of entertainment or if I say something of value, which is not too often, then you guys can take that and move along with that. I still love the guy, but CC perks make your account not entirely free to play. And I'm not like protecting him because he's he's a fellow CC or anything. I just don't really see that much of an issue. Like, yeah, you could he could recoin himself if, if you guys really want to. You could tell him, hey, stop calling yourself free to play. Call yourself no spend. But at the same time, it's like, bro, are you really heated over that? Are you really gonna get pressed over it? You really gonna be pressed over that? Boozer is a great content creator. People that watch him want to be able to relate to what they're watching, feel like they're on similar grounds. So they feel betrayed and they can't relate anymore. I'll say what I said somewhere else. Boozer is promoting his channel as a free-to-play raid player. Most people are going to think that they can do what he does. His account doesn't represent what someone can reasonably achieve as free-to-play. He's still a great CC. Just more transparency in the matter would have been better for him and his viewers. I was a low spender in raid for probably two years. Once I found Boozer's channel, I haven't spent a dime in raid, so the results speak for themselves. I don't think he got those perks right away. Every complainer can try content himself without perks. I don't understand people have been so negative and offensive towards Boozer. I'm happy you're making this video to defend him. Exactly. Hey, I'm not a hater. You guys deserve it. It's unfair when we have to compete in events and tournaments. I'll say this here one last time since I've said it to other CC videos, getting their panties in a twist. Me, I'm guessing a lot, if not most. People don't mind CCs getting packs and perks. I think it's a good thing. What is bothering a lot of people here regarding Boozer specifically is that he is taking, taking a stance on several occasions that if someone was gifted or donated for in-game rewards, they were not free to play. His account, however, is totally free to play and pure. You can't have it both ways. Taking perks and calling out others who get stuff but not spending their own money. Also, allegedly, he was rewarded with hundreds upon hundreds of gems for working as a Reddit monitor. Oh, moder moderator, long before he got into the CC program. So this whole clinging to having it built all pure and complete like a regular free to play player just doesn't sit well with some. 
I guess. I mean, what do you guys think? Do, is is he a fake free to player? Because that's the whole that's the that's the message I'm receiving from reading this. And the fact that he went out of his way to try and justify all this in his latest video makes it worse. Making defensive excuses in lines of new players today get promo codes. There was no such thing as uh, that when I started. That's not free to play either. I don't necessarily agree with this because getting a promo code and getting a few rewards once is a lot different than getting the plethora of rewards that we get as content creators each week. I like his content, but the odd high horse stance that he takes sometimes comes off a bit condescending to the regular plebe free to plays. I'll keep watching his content because I like how he's meticulous, but I do think some pushback is from his own Puritan stance while not following the same rules. I hope we can stop making videos about this because now I want actual champ guides instead. Boozer's free to play fame was created by people like Ash and Hades over and over again, putting him as the world's strongest free to play account. Oh, without disclaiming that he gets over 300 or whatever content creator packs, they all share some accountability in this. The weekly CC pack is a titanic boatload of resources. It is. He's still a great raid player, but most spenders don't get what he gets for free. I get what he's saying, but again, it's not free. You guys don't know what it's like having to edit videos or the, the long time it takes to, to, to do this shit. Unless you're just hitting record and then throwing up whatever unedited, which I do sometimes, but still like there's a level of, of consistency, especially if you're like somebody, if you're somebody like Ash, and his editor is just insane. Like, it takes a lot. I wouldn't say that it's just completely free because everything costs something, right? And you can't argue this because you're probably somebody who says that even if you're free to play, you're still spending time playing the game in raid, right? Everything costs something. Boozer's claim to fame is being the best free to play raider, but he's free to play on the CC version of the game, not the version the average free to play viewer plays. He should not accept those weekly rewards without at least informing viewers a uh, ASAP. The problem is, is that he's shouting that he's a smart free to play player, that he knows how to get free to play resources, but fails to mention that he gets a lot of extra resources. In my opinion, he should just say no spend rather than free to play. Yeah, this is really good here too. You just change the title, you change the frame, no one's gonna complain about it. Dude, all the CC's complaining about not having enough books, energy, gems, and silver. Gems alone can be more ancient shards or energy. Then I hear Boozer talking about how he's, how he's got over a billion in silver, telling us that we need to put more time in the game to get what he has. Bullshit, Boozer is not free to play. Boozer is getting paid by YouTube for the content. Okay, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. Boozer is getting paid by YouTube for the content that he's playing, but not returning any money into the game. So yes, as a YouTuber who's monetized, and I even did a video, showing you guys how much I've made so far. YouTubers get paid by YouTube through ads. It's not a lot though, and I've proven it to you with that last video that I did. He's not returning any money into the game. Why do you want him to return the money into the game? Why do you care how he spends his money? He's got a kid, he's got a wife, he's putting in the work. YouTube is a source of income. Why do you want him to spend it in, in Raid? Now me personally, I do take a lot of the money that I spend and I put it back into YouTube as a whole for a multitude of things, thumbnails, editing, just a bunch of things, basically, other games. And recently I just did a giveaway where I used some of that money that I got from ad revenue and I gave it back to two random players, two random people who won a giveaway. I, I went into their accounts and I bought them shit. I think the problem is that he gets CC perks or not, he doesn't spend any money in raid. The problem is he, Boozer, mentions that he's free to play in every single video and that's why people are pissed. According to the RSL helper pack evaluator, it's around $120. Oh, that's why they're free to play. The community has literally known about these packs and exactly what they have they have been for five years. This is fake rage. Smuch. Free to play, no CC accepting this pack is free to play when they claim they are. There was only one real free to play content creator in the CC program and was giving those away saying that if he took them, it would be, it would defeat the purpose of free to play. Forgot his name, he was great. This is not new. No, we don't get paid. That's cold brew. LOL, everybody in here expecting to get this shit for not putting in the work that CCs do is insane. Exactly. This... <laughs> Make videos daily and a few thousand subs, exactly. You realize CCs make money from their content. That's where their hard work and uh, rewards them with money. I, uh, again, I've shown you how much <laughs> I've made off of YouTube. It's not a lot. With your logic, anyone that puts in any effort is free to play. It's hard work tapping my credit card into Polarium. Free to play, by the way. You're not that stupid. <laughs> All right, people, this is what we do. We all make channels, put our raid content, smashing the like button with each other until we all attain level three content status. It's going to be a grind. It's going to be more of a grind than referral accounts. But I think if we all do this, we can work together. <laughs> Hell, we can all make videos about each other's videos about raid. We can hustle this. Where's my math nerds and logistical nerds at? Who's with me? Reacting to the reaction of the reaction of this champ release. I knew this would be on the car.